feel like I don't know how I missed the fish. I don't know how I missed the vase. Apparently, I'm missing all sorts of stuff today. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wave Lady, and welcome to my channel. Well, today I am in Ephrata. I am at the Ephrata Goodwill. It is a smaller Goodwill. Uh, I can usually go through the entire store in about 10 minutes, but we're gonna start here and then we're gonna head on down the road. I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet, but let's head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for profit. Here we go. Okay, so we are going to start here with the solar system knobs. <laughs> They're pretty neat. Sad ceramic bunny. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's like a doll, uh, a doll cradle. Then over here, I'm just gonna reach over. Hmm. I like the colors of that. Oh, there is damage on it. It's been repaired. I don't know. I'm kind of considering this. $3.99. Be a good booth piece. Kind of like the pattern on those dishes. Wow, they're all taped together. Oh, it's uh, melamine. I thought they were ceramic. Let's say on the bottom. Oh, let's see. Branchell. Branchell. Hm. I don't know. Some of them are kind of worn. those look at those dolls are they painted or printed eh, it looks like it's printed oh my gosh <laughs> that goes with the crib yeah I'd see that those are probably printed on there oh gosh it's a really cool piece but um whoa my purse just <laughs> uh, it is really cool and it would probably also make for a great booth piece, but I think one big item per shopping trip is good. Oh my gosh, there's another one. <laughs> that one's missing the top though. How funny is that? Ashton wants one for his birthday. His birthday is tomorrow, but I've already picked up two. It's just funny how I really never saw them before and all of a sudden they're appearing everywhere. Looks like what is that? Red Wood Ranch Pottery 2005 has a floral frog in there. It's only a dollar ninety nine, but probably like eh, eight bucks. <laughs> Those hearts are super kitschy. What is this? It's a fancy glass. Made in China. I love the color of that. But it's very contemporary. Ooh, look at that. Candlestick holder. There's no markings on it. It's a really fun design. I wish there was a pair of them, but looks like we've got one bowl down there with eyeballs is fun. Yeah, I like that. $3.99. Kind of a simple mug. Alright, let's check out the lamps. That one kind of has an atomic look to it. I say shape. I mean, that's not in terrible shape for its age. <laughs> yeah, don't put more than 60 watts, otherwise it'll melt the shade. Yeah, I like that for $2.99. Last time I was here, I had pretty good luck in the Christmas with that Fontanini uh, manger. So, figured we would check out the 
Christmas before we got out of here. Is he carved? Made in China. Hmm. The guy back there. And now he's contemporary. Sums it up. We've got a cradle and we've got a handle stick and a really cool lamp. All right, well, our total spend there was only $11.63. Um, I'm happy with the cradle. I think I can sell that. I might consider selling it online on eBay. Not sure. Otherwise, we'll just stick it in the booth. Uh, the candlestick was great. And I really love that mid-century style lamp. It was in pretty good condition for being as old as it is. I'm going to get out of here now. I am going to head on down the road. I think I'm going to take you guys to the big Goodwill. And uh, we'll see what we can find there. Okay, well, as predicted, it is crowded here today. What in the world is this thing? That's crazy looking. I think that's something like your build, build your own robots or something. It's made of soapstone. There is a Turkish tile, $2.99. I've been doing pretty well with these, so I think I'm gonna grab that. Here is a metal dish. I love the boho look of that. It's $3.99. Does have some fading, like maybe it sat outside, but look at that patina. <laughs> there are a pair of candlesticks Gibson every day. Made in China. What is this? $2.99. That's definitely got some mid-century modern lines on it. I like that. And then I was actually, what I was looking at were these. Those are super fun. What is that? $3.99. It's a satin glass, so there is scuffing on it, but I like that the whole set is here, and that's kind of a fun... Oh, I think that's fun. So let's see how much the glasses are. <laughs> so the glasses are two dollars each, and the picture is three ninety nine. So two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I think that would be worth picking up. There is a bunny rabbit down here. What is this? Laurel, New Jersey. I like that name. That's a fun shaped uh, cocktail shaker. When it's ribbed, it's two ninety nine. Uh, there's no markings on it that I can see. They might be underneath the sticker, but I don't even think that they sell for very much. Little milk glass on the shelf for $3.99. I don't think that's really worth it. It sells pretty well in our booths, but when I put it on eBay, it just doesn't do very well. That looks like art pottery. It almost looks like they used uh, fabric to create that texture. Let's see what it says on the bottom. Kathy Rondo, 2014. It's not terrible, I kinda like it, but I have too much art pottery right now. I'm, try I'm trying to be a little bit more selective when it comes to the art pottery. Sterling and Noble Clock Company. Oh, it's got a giant tear in it. Oh, there's some leaded glass. I guess that's uh, for hanging in the window. <laughs> There's a little hanger on that. That's pretty. $2.99. Okay. There are quite a few abandoned carts. This looks like a back scratcher. Walt Disney World. Mm. I don't do much with Disney, so it's kind of outside my, uh, my wheelhouse. the pattern of that, but it probably doesn't have very high resale value. Top here. That's funny. There's something inside of that. I just bought Juliet uh, Simpson shoes. There is a whole set of Temptations. $6.99. Six 
I love the tea. I actually like the tea set and I like the pattern on that. Um, I'm not sure how much it would sell for though. I don't honestly I don't think. Well, no, I have bought and sold Temptations once before. It's not really my thing. Hmm. Alright, old world. Yeah, maybe I'll grab that. Alright, well, I was talking to another customer and she believes that it's probably $6.99 for the set. I guess we'll find out when we get up there. <laughs> but I set it in here. Um, if it's $6.99 for the set, it's definitely worth it. Um, if it's $6.99 each, eh, I don't know. I don't know Temptations that well. Let's check out this bag down here. That's kind of fun. I think it's probably one of those Forever 21 bags, though. It's made to look vintage. $6.99. Just a fun clasp. Okay. I'm circling back to uh, the brown aisle. Home goods. What is this? It looks like it could be Cosmo Poland. I don't know. It's got that captured bubble in the bottom, and usually I find that that's Cosmo Poland. $2.99. What I'm noticing though is that the, the red is just kind of uneven. And I feel like it wouldn't be uneven, so I'm gonna leave that one. What is this fancy thing? Oh, I think I'm. Is this one of those serving things? Let's see. Oops. Come on. I think it's supposed to. Because I want to. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's really cool. And then the middle one slides up. Those are nice. I've seen those before. This is $4.99. Eh, maybe I'll grab it for $4.99. I've never bought and sold one before, but I have seen them before. It's like a serving tray and it all folds out. <laughs> this is kind of funny looking. $1.99. It's a resin sculpture. Like something from Home Goods, possibly. What is this? Oh, somebody painted that. <laughs> All right, let's turn it over. No, it doesn't have any markings on it. It's not Longa Burger. La Fonda, end of the Santa Fe Trail. It's really heavy duty. Two ninety nine. Do I need any more mugs? The answer is no. I do not. I'm gonna leave it there, but I moved it up so somebody else can see it. This looks like a fun craft. <laughs> I like the contrast between the orange and the blue. There's a brass deer for $3.99. I wonder if he has any friends lurking around the store. My mom actually purchased some of these for her own decor for around Christmas time. $3.99. I might stick them in the cart and see if we can find any more of those. Okay, well the last two times I've been to this Goodwill, I have found fairy lights. Granted, they weren't Fenton or anything special, but I did find fairy lights. This is $1.99. Mm, it's got a chip on it. And what is going on here? What is this? <laughs> Dino. It's a pitcher, and then there's a cup. I only see one cup though. I'm curious what it says on the bottom. I can't seem to peel the sticker, so I'm just gonna grab it and I guess I'll figure it out later. Well, this mug here is a uh, Cinderella. It's Hallmark at Disney. I did look it up and it sells for upwards of $20, so I think that would be worth sticking in there. I just realized that I buried my uh, Goodwill bag. <laughs> it's probably not, not the best thing. This uh, lacquer jewelry box a pretty woman on the front. Looks like there's damage to the stones, so it's $5.99. If there was no damage, I would probably grab that. I love the bright red. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is squishy. <laughs> this thing is quite impressive. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. It's extremely weighted. Feels like, I don't know. 
That's weird. What is its purpose? I must know. <laughs> it looks like this is what we're looking at. Google Lens for the win. Uh, $39. Somebody is asking for it on eBay. I think it's cool, but I don't really want to pick that up right now. I think we're going to keep looking. Okay. Well, after all that debate and pushing this around for a while, I finally took an opportunity to look it up. And it looks like this tea set with the tray and the sugar and the creamer sells for about $60. Um, and I'm just thinking about what a pain it's going to be to ship. And I think I'm going to put it back on the shelf. I don't think this, that's worth the hassle of shipping with all of the pieces and the risk of breaking the platter and everything. So it's going to go back on the shelf. There we go. Right in the blue section where it belongs. <laughs> all right. I'm going to do the shelves like one more time. Uh, they're not restocking or anything since it's later in the day. But uh, the past few times I was here, you know, I just happened to spot something hiding under something. And that was that. Was that. So uh, we're going to just see. Oh, wait. What is that back there? <laughs> oh, it's a trinket box of some sort. It's made out of resin, though. Here are a pair of uh, pine china napkin rings. So they are Japan, so they're not Royal Staffordshire or anything, but they're in their original boxes. And from what I can tell through that little peekaboo window, uh, there isn't chipping on them. So I think those are great for spring. Here's a ring dish, $1.99. Doesn't appear to be a silver band though. This is a planter. What's wrong with her? $6.99. That's why she's still here. Nobody wanted to pay $6.99 for her. Oh, and look at that. She's got a chip on her. This little guy down here is Honko. He should have some friends uh, with him, but he is all by his lonesome. What in the world is that thing? That's weird, right? I don't know. Is it some sort of artwork? Throw a rope. Something diller. It is hard work. I mean, I don't hate it. I thought at first somebody was uh, making friendship bracelets. But that is uh, that is an actual piece of art. I might have to look up uh, diller artwork and see what we can find. Well, this is only $4.99. I tried looking up the artist, but I couldn't quite figure out the signature. It's something diller. I don't know. I'll grab it though. I'm sure it's a statement piece. For only $4.99, I know I can at least make my money back on that. Mm. We'll take a shot. If you recognize the name, uh, let me know in the comments. What is that in the back? Live in harmony with the world. Ross. I was walking past the end cap and noticed this. Very colorful fish. All of his fins seem to be intact. He's $4.99. And this does have a Made in China sticker on the bottom. So he's not made in Murano, but only $4.99. Um, you could definitely make money on that. Hmm. I love how colorful he is. Stick him there. Well, I'm not quite sure how I missed this the first time I came down the aisle. I feel like I don't know how I missed the fish. I don't know how I missed the vase. Apparently, I'm missing all sorts of stuff today. Uh, this is Ibis and Orchid Design Ink, $3.99. Um, I think we sell for upwards of 40 bucks. It is resin, uh, so it's you know I just noticed it's got a petal, a petal damaged. But even at $3.99. That's the only damage there is, and I didn't even notice it. Um, I think I'm gonna pick it up for $3.99. Like, yeah. This over here is vintage. $3.99. My great aunt, uh, when she passed away, I got her little strawberry dish. That one's in good condition for its age at $3.99. Just trying to think in my head what it would probably be worth, which isn't very much, but I'll pick it up for nostalgia's sake, even though I already have one, and uh, this one I will put up on eBay. This looks like it could be an Ikea dollar horse. 
I know some of the Ikea dollar horses can sell very well, so I'm gonna set this in my cart real quick and look it up to see if I'm correct. Just to give you an idea, um, these are sold listings for Ikea dollar horses. I've actually had this one with the glasses before. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Large 1980s blue with polka dots. Sold for about 40 bucks. All right. There you have it. I think we're gonna take him with us. <laughs> Spiked mane, wooden dollar horse. All right, so I think I'm going to start heading up towards the checkout now. I really wasn't expecting a whole lot today. Like I said, it was later in the day, but um, even there at the last minute, we found quite a few cool things that'll make a decent profit. So pretty pleased with everything we got. Uh, and I will get you guys a total when I get to the car. Well, our total spend here at the Goodwill today was $69. Uh, it started out pretty slow. I mean, it, it just usually seems to start out slow. And then at the end, it was like, oh, I like that, I like that, and we did okay. I'm excited about that resin piece. Uh, I have a tendency to overlook resin, and so when I saw that, I was like, you know what, that's real colorful and fun, and that's proof that there can be value in resin pieces. And you guys tell me that time and time again, I know. But anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.